Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens and today is a hugely special day because we are in the beautiful foothills of California and we are here at a ranch called Rancho Sabor, which means the flavor ranch, to prepare, to watch, to eat a perfect taco. It includes simultaneously preparing all of the ingredients to get into your mouth as fast as possible so nothing waits, so everything is as fresh as local Down. as possible everything from the farm and so there's going to be an entire goat which they've been roasting and um, which is buried actually right there um, and which has been cooking all night long it's going to fall off the bone it's going to be so ultra tender the avocados are blooming the produce around here it's just a it literally is like a perfect weather perfect feeling it's going to be the perfect taco and we're going to share it with you in this video Just arrived at the ranch in the foothills in the mountains of California. It's spectacularly beautiful. The big rocks, the mountains, and we're just walking around to the other side. Maybe that's where they're gonna unload the goat and also where they have everything set up here at the ranch. Yes. Okay. Rancho Sabor, but we have this well, we have concept at, at Rancho, Rancho Sabor. Sabor. Ah, okay. So Learning about the traditions project. in there. We do a bunch of different things at the ranch. Okay. One of which is cultura conservation. Yes. Oh, oh look. Who the reason, the story, the philosophy behind the perfect taco, which is the reason why we're here. Jeffrey? Here we go. So everything about tacos is better when it's fresh. So we're going to simultaneously bring the goat meat out of the famous pit. We're going to be rolling tortillas fresh. Got the freshest sauce from the legend that is Sandra. Uh, guacamole toppings everything going to come together oh, yeah. simultaneously zero kilometer in one instant to make the birds first and only perfect taco and so that's the whole philosophy of today's get together and experience yeah. oh and i've been hearing the about award your award winning award winning guacamole so and the black sauce the black. i've we, been hearing about the black salsa we also this community that name rainbow okay but we belong to Fallbrook. It's ah, a little town close, but okay. a nice town. That's by. And it's the capital of the Abogado. This is my style. I grew up in Michoacan, and it's another capital of oh, the Abogado in Mexico. Beautiful. So we have a lot of avocados. So that's my way, you twist it. And is this a recipe that you developed, or is it? This is the, the traditional, traditional one. Okay. The only thing for me is fresh ingredients. That's to the, the flavor, so it's not any secrets. Okay. So the thing everybody. Is, most of the guacamole you get doesn't use fresh ingredients uh. or the traditional recipe. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Avocado in Nahuatl means testicles. Oh. Most like. <laughs> in the in the past, uh, the women are not allowed to collect it because it's too much for them. So only men are okay to go and. Um, and uh, harvest the avocados wow. from the fields. That's in the past. Now we can do whatever, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Guacamole means... Um, mole means in Nahuatl mole, or salsa. Oh. So this is a kind of mole Let's because it's a sauce. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> so no, uh, <laughs> see you again yeah. in a different country. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like it when you see it. So I like, uh, I don't like the creamy, creamy avocado, the guacamole, I like a little Texture. chunky. Keep the chunks, yes, right? Yes, for me oh, that's the best. So not totally mashed. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, it's my Blood. thing. Yeah. You can wait, go ahead. <laughs> that's it, like a weapon. A <laughs> little bit, maybe one and a half lemon. So that helps uh, the, the avocado don't, don't be dark, oxidated, but uh, really you don't need too much. You want the flavor of the other things, not the lemon into the mocajete immediately. Yes. So today we have a, a baked tostadas with the flour of the squash flour. Wow. And this is um, a chiote and chile ancho. Awesome. And these ones are cilantro ones. So each one <laughs> have a different flavor. So you are welcome. Enjoy it. Thank you. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, my How friend. How are you, man? Good. That was a good day yesterday. That huh? was an incredible day. Yep. I'm ready for another great day. Let's do it. The perfect taco. Day after day, yep. Mm -hmm. The perfect taco. <laughs> okay, so she just finished the guacamole, which she has won first place for the best tasting guacamole. And this region 
is known for the best avocados in California. But the simplicity, you know, she just, and also I like that she doesn't make it too uh, smooth. She like literally like slices them out so they're chunked. It's like chunked avocado and then she doesn't stir it, over stir it so it doesn't get mushy, it doesn't get liquidy. Um, and just a mountain, a pile into the mocajete. There's three different types of like tostada chips that we're gonna dig into it with. <laughs> Unimprovable. <laughs> mm. Put your hand up in there. Mm. Oh. Oh wow. Keep coming in hot. Keep oh. Chili oil? Coming in hot. Made 15 seconds ago. Oh. You can actually taste the, I mean, you can seriously taste the freshness of the avocados, of the tomatoes, the onions. The creaminess of those avocados. Like, I mean, it's a simple recipe, traditional. It's like nothing extra. Oh. Everything it needs to be. I think it, it it's really just, I mean, relying on the creaminess, the quality of those avocados, and then some chili oil on there. Well, oh. that is superb. Not only a perfect guacamole, a perfect taco that's soon to come, but perfect weather and a perfect day. The, the, the weather could not be more perfect right now. Because that's the adventure of it. You're somewhere else. Mm. Mm. In other people's hands. And those tostados. The nuts and seeds in them. Amazing. With that chili oil. They're stunning. Onion. Chili serrano. No! Hey! Like Ween's Brewing. Is that, then that's local? Yeah. We must be related. Oh, there we go. Uh, what is it? It's the fish taco. That's fish. Oh, the fish tamales, sorry. Fish tamales. Uh, Here we go. Like one year old? Let me just like one year old. It's getting exciting now. The stations are starting to set up to, to in order to synchronize this taco eating experience. So you ready? Getting insane. excited, insane. excited and nervous. Salsa borracha is beginning to get ready, but then we're gonna slam it together at the last second with the tortilla and dig that baby up. Chile pasilla largo. Estamos ahí largo. Oh, okay. The corn for these tortillas was mixed tamales. That's the old school, ah. the Mayas and all cultures do it to provide more nutrients to the corn. So your body digests better and um, absorb, uh, give more uh, nutrients to your body. Mixed tamalizado, that's the word. So. Ah. Mixed tamalization? There's a term called mixed tamalization, which is the process of processing the corn uh, mixed with lime and not the fruit, not the citrus, but lime um, alkaloid. And then also like cooking it for a long time um, to so that it actually like gives you the nutrients rather than being hard to digest. And she is just working on the masa now, flattening out the tortillas. Everything's coming together. The plan is to make the tortillas, to get the salsa and everything ready, and then to literally pull out the goat from underground. Within seconds, take it off into your tortilla that has been just immediately made with the salsa that has been immediately made and all into your mouth all together simultaneously. I, I, you know, I just... <laughs> Okay, three, two, one. Okay, she's putting the masa, she's flattening the masa, she's gonna grill the tortilla. So that's gonna be going there. We're running down to the pit, to the pibil where he's gonna unload, it's time. He's gonna unload, I'm gonna just keep the, the camera running the entire time and just as this entire process unfolds, no cuts in the video, unearthing the goat.
Yeah, so the goal is that by the time the tortilla is ready, the goat has been unearthed and the cover is off. The salsas will be coming down. Oh, Paco's, Paco's handling the salsas. And I'll run back for the tortilla. There you go. We'll grab a handful. Here it comes. We'll grab a handful of the goat, load it up with salsa, and immediately into the mouth. Pretty hot. That's pretty awesome. Those are all um, my gay leaves. My gay leaves on okay. the top. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, that smells incredible. Okay. So next step, I think, run up for the tortilla. Okay. I'm giving the camera to to Joel. Yeah. Can I wait here? Follow. Oh, in your hand. Yeah, it's gonna come. Okay. Yes. Another one. Ready? Go. Go. Tortilla is in hand. All right, we're on this. All right. It's hot. Tortilla is freaking <laughs> hot. I'm sure. It's boiling <laughs> hot. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. How do we get it? Jeffrey, I might Go on. hand you my... Oh, oh. Dig down. Okay, Joel, come close up. View. Oh, yeah, that's hot. That's... Oh, that does. smells incredible. I did. Didn't even look. look at those juices. Oh, there's banana leaves too. And herbs. <laughs> and But banana leaves too? Okay. Or is that like a different type of leaf? Avocado. Uh, okay. Do you want this hook? Look at the rib. Oh! You got oh. the rib! Oh! Got the rib. Oh, that's you hot. got the rib! Okay. Oh, Jeffrey, can I give you a, a rib taco? <laughs> 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 oh, it's pretty hot though. It's fine. Maybe it's too hot. Oh, do we need another piece? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need a little more tough one. Yeah, open it more. Okay. That's a deep pit. <laughs> yeah, that's a deep pit. <laughs> that's the same thing. <laughs> no, it's a different one. <laughs> Literally oh, on elbows and knees. Oh, it's dripping with juice. <laughs> Reaching into Brother, the you got it. Oh. Wait. Oh, here's the. Oh, this is the piece we need. This is the piece we need. Okay. <laughs> this one's ready. Oh. Got a little bone sticking out of this oh, one. Oh, look at this. Look at this, though. Wait, I think I need to. I think I Here, need to. first, <laughs> try this one. Yes. Wait. <laughs> oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Only problem is that my. Okay. Is it hot? Here. Okay, tortilla. Okay, Joel, come. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little bony guy. Joel. It's so hot, it's so tender. Golden rays of light are shining upon you in this moment. Okay. Now salsa, salsa time. Oh! Extra flavor in the pit. <laughs> and uh, the original? Okay. Yeah, the original. Every. Joel, come close for the salsa action. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I have a bone in my mouth. Okay. One. And cheers. Perfect, Perfect taco. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Direct from the pit. The I need more burrata. <laughs> mm. mm. Just the freshness. Mm. <laughs> That's a I took way too big of a bite. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that was successful. Mm. Incredibly successful. Oh, guys. Mm. It's unbelievable. The flavor, the like herb marinade, the herbs in the meat. 
the tortilla, yeah. And the borracha salsa. Simple, perfect. Incredible. Wow. And we have enough for 500 of them. So we can go nuts all <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> okay. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you everyone wow. for making this happen. <laughs> wow. So awesome. It is indeed a great taco. It's a great taco. <laughs> dirt, on the, dirt on the base of the hand, food on the tip of the fingers. Mm -hmm. Wounded, burnt, dirty, <laughs> happy. Wounded, burnt, dirty, happy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, he did a rib. Oh, there's a rib. Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect bone. Oh, look at all the You gotta try that. All right. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, wow. the meat. The rosemary. The yeah. The like almost like gummy fatty texture to it. Fish. Mm. The tortillas are incredible too. Look, that's an essential part of a taco. You need a tortilla. In search of some head meat, all of the parts, look how cool it is. All of the parts of the animal are inside this. The internal organs also waiting. Oh yeah, I'm, going I'm for excited the to cheek. try that. Oh, and there's even... The stomach. See, there's even herb ingredients inside. Oh, that's grass, that's awesome. That's straight up the grass. The tongue. Wow, that's still hot. Even like 30 minutes later. Look at this. Tamal, tamali means something rapid in, in, lengua, in the Nahua language. Tamali. So we name it tamales later. Because it's hard for the Spaniards to pronounce some of the Nahua language. So they are like, okay, tamali is so hard. Tamales. And, and um, but it's something rapid. So, that one is a big tamal. Yeah. Next up, I'm gonna try the tamal, a fish tamal, which is a wrap, and there's no masa, no corn. And actually, a tamal, she was explaining to us, Sandra was explaining to us, that it doesn't need to have corn. Um, it just means like a wrap. And so this one is made with fish. You can see some vegetables in there. You can see some, a variety of peppers, and they grilled it over the fire. Fish, the, oh, with those salsas, it just looks incredible. And that just like flakes apart. Uh, ask Sandra. I think over there, we'll be there's some, some uh, mm. uh, agua Mmm. Wow, oh, like the, the softness of it, the smokiness of it, and the crunch of the peppers. Mm. And then with that salsa, that's just award-winning. Oh, what a combination. What a like healthy, refreshing tamale packet wrapped in a corn husk with fish juices. We've come to the end of the the perfect taco on the perfect day in the perfect scenery. Ranch above the hills of <laughs> San Diego, lush, beautiful. Jason beautiful. the goat, he sacrificed <laughs> for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> and successful? It was perfect. Yes, it was perfect. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it was perfect and fun and funny. <laughs> Mostly fun. <laughs> <laughs> and again, although we, I think it was possibly longer than two minutes. Yeah. It still was the fastest taco that I've ever assembled myself and taken a bite of. And I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, okay, confirmed. It's the first taco I've ever reached, I've ever dove into a pit. To, to head first. Head first into a pit. I thought you weren't coming out. Just <laughs> <laughs> your feet sticking out of the pit. <laughs> but anyway, that was extraordinarily fun. And a big shout out, a huge thank you to Arancho Sabor and their cucina. Doug Sabor. and Sandra. Doug Incredible. and Sandra. Yeah. Thanks Arancho to Sabor. them for putting this on, for hosting us. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and to Jeffrey Merrihew. Go follow him on Instagram. Thank He's you, the man. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> Good. We've had a lot of food adventures together. And more to <laughs> and come. This was, and this was a memory we'll never forget. <laughs> the perfect taco. The perfect taco. Love you guys. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Whoa. I almost got my, my words tangled up like a gobble of a turkey in the background. And okay, thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.